<laughs> all the way to the end i just like i feel like i'm her friend i'm like do i have to say more do i have to like do i have to hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title we're gonna be talking about books and books that i have read and books that i am currently listening to reading what the plans are for the rest of the summer book wise because there's so many books endless amounts of books that i want to read but um the ones that i was looking forward to the most i already read so i kind of just want to talk to you guys about how my reading journey has gone this summer let's get into it so if you guys do not know i'm currently a rising senior at usc and as a college student i don't get to sit and read books as much as i would like to so recently i've gotten into audiobooks and i actually really like it and it gives me the op it gives me the opportunity to like still be in touch with like what's going on in the reading world um so i did listen to some audiobooks so i kind of want to go over that experience and how i've enjoyed it so far so yeah, let's get into the audiobook section of this video. The first audiobook I ever listened to at the beginning of this summer was Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. And I loved it so much. I'm literally, oh, I just like am thinking about I'm just, you know when you're talking about books and you think about it and you think about like all the little things, that's what I'm doing right now. It's probably going to be happening throughout this video just because I did really enjoy listening to it. Um, I don't know if it's a book. My thing is, is if I'm going to be into audiobooks and I listen to one and it's not my favorite, I probably won't get the physical copy. But if I feel like it's something where I'm like, I might want to reread or go in and highlight specific lines that I thought were... Um, important or quotes that I really liked um, then I will get the physical book this one I'm kind of up and down about getting the physical book and keeping it because I did really enjoy the book but I don't know if it's that worthy of getting the physical book I'm kind of going back and forth about it but I think I rated this a five star four or five star it was pretty high up there especially for my first audiobook I think it was a great experience and I really really did enjoy the book and yeah there was a lot of drama I loved it um then the second book that I listened to was Part of Your Worlds by Abby Jimenez and Abby Jimenez has been the author of the summer I feel like personally and she has become one of my favorite authors um Part of Your World I think I did rate pretty low I think it was like a three or four star um not really sure like i could connect to it i did enjoy it um there was a lot of drama i don't know if i really liked the main character the girl as much like i don't even remember her name which is kind of bad i should probably remember her name um but yeah i just wasn't feeling it that much i thought it was good i really liked um i really liked daniel really really liked him and the whole reason i started listening to this book um and it wasn't even on my tbr um i started listening to it because everyone was talking about just for the summer and i was like oh my gosh that seems like the perfect summer book i want to read it but then i saw sarah's video and she was talking about how um in the book you get cameos from the other characters from her two other books so i was like "Ooh, okay let me listen to the two books and then read just for the summer so that's a, why i read the book so i didn't go into it with like not bad intentions but not like intentions of like this is the book that's been on my tbr but overall it was a really good book again daniel's very golden retriever i feel like all of her boys in her books are golden retriever boys like i just love when they are just so head over heels would do everything drop anything like I just love seeing that so i yeah i think it was like three or four i just didn't really connect with it as much then the second audiobook and i think this has become one of my favorite books i've read so far this summer is yours truly by abby jimenez just because i wanted to finish the two so that i could start reading just for the summer 
what I tell you guys. Uh-uh. Uh. <laughs> I loved this one so much to the fact that I will actually probably get the physical book eventually, like once I'm done with school, come back and like reorganize everything. Um, as you can see, I kind of changed the setup of my room already, but like that's going to be a whole other video once I'm done with school. But I will get this book. I will get it. I will get it. And I will reread it and highlight all of... I just loved it so much. This was one of my first five stars of the summer. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Like their connection, their back and forth, like they were so in love with each other. Then the ups and downs and then there's fake dating. And it's like, I don't know, something about the fake dating and they actually fall for each other. And like, it wasn't too spicy, but it was the perfect amount of spice. And like, oh, that I would re-listen to it because I just enjoyed it so much. And of course, we get cameos from the first book. Um, but I don't know, something about seeing her friend's love story and seeing Brianna knowing what she dealt with and having trust. I don't know. I just really fell in love with them together. It was the perfect ending for me personally. Like, I feel like the ending of it was with books, I feel like if the middle is um, good, like the whole book is good and then you get to the end and it's just not a solid ending, it's not one of my favorites. Like, I don't know, something about a really good ending to close off a great book just tops it and I think yours truly did exactly that. I will continue talking about them i'll continue i literally cried listening <laughs> i literally cried listening to like the end of it and seeing how happy like oh i i can't i can't do it i can't it was just so good so good so good so that yours truly five stars please please read it it's so good. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, they're so cute. Anyways, then obviously after I listened to those two books, I read Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. And wow. Wow. Um, this is another five-star read for me. Another five-star read. Um, I can't, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. Uh, uh, Emma, girl, the way that in some ways I relate to you, it's kind of crazy. Um, just her way of viewing love is she, I don't know, she just was terrified of it and was scared of holding people back and I don't know, I feel like I could relate to that in some ways and in some ways not, but I just, there were some things in this book that I was like, whoa, wait a minute, it's getting a little too close to home, getting a little too close, but I do really love her and to see her character grow throughout this book from her from the beginning all the way to the end I just like I feel like I'm her friend I'm like girl I'm so proud of you Emma you killed that you did that you found the one you jumped that hurdle and you're just so happy now like you're so happy so I constantly think about her and wish I could just go give her a hug and like ask her how she's doing <laughs> now on to the boy Justin Justin, Justin, such a golden retriever, such a golden retriever. And the fact that they met on Reddit, I don't know, something about it was just so fun and so like spontaneous, but I could also feel like homey about it. Like it was a perfect in between of like, I'm gonna be very spontaneous and then just be like, you know what? I'm gonna make it cozy as well. Ah. 
it's just so good it's just so good and again the whole reason I read the other two Abby Jimenez books was because I got this book in New York because everyone was talking about it but I'm glad I had all held off until I finished listening to the other two audiobooks because the cameos in this it was fun to kind of see them again um especially my two from yours truly i was so happy to i'm like so happy to see them but i was so happy to read and like get to know what they're up to and get like a little glimpse into their life after reading the book and then also it connects a lot to the first book and that was a twist that I was not expecting at all and the romance was romancing and it was very I don't know the one thing I will say is I'm the type of girl that loves to uh, FaceTime or call I don't know I'm not the best texter so like FaceTime or call is amazing to, like I don't know I just find that somewhat of like a love language of like instead of texting you I'm just gonna call you real quick or I'm gonna FaceTime you so I can like see you and see like what's going on um and Justin did that towards the beginning of the book and that's what truly made me fall in love with him and he continued I continued to fall more in love with him just the way that he treated <sighs> treats her his family deals with everything that he's gone through and still tries to find ways to help Emma and to be there for her even though things get in the way they will always do it together and he I just know and trust that Justin will be there for her throughout everything and I just love that especially for Emma just because I do relate to her in some ways so it was very comforting to see that healthy he will if he wanted to he would if he wanted to, he would. That's all I gotta say about this one. I, I can go on and on. So this is my second five star. Abby Jimenez, you are on a roll. On a roll. Continue, girl. Continue, please, because we need more. We need more. We need more of this. We need more of yours truly. Like, we need it. But thank you, Abby, because I really, this was the two books that I've read so far this summer have been five stars, and it's come from you. So thank you, and I appreciate it next that i have physically here is what everyone's been to actually we're gonna save that for last we're gonna talk about love radio don't have the book with me it's back at my apartment but i read love radio i got this at the ripped bodice it was one of like the uh blind date book type of thing you unwrap it you just like see what like a little blurb of like what it's about and the little blurb I really did enjoy and so I ended up getting it and it ended up being Love Radio. I've seen this book in Barnes & Noble and I'm like, oh my gosh, I kind of want to read it. I've only seen the hardcover so I got like, I, I don't know if this is like a special cover, but it's different from what I've seen at Barnes & Noble. Um, and it's a paperback so I did really like that it was paperback. But anyways, besides that, um, this book I rated a three star. It was not one of my favorites. Uh, I wanted to love it so much. So, so much. But it just wasn't for me. My camera's about to die. So we'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay. Back to what I was saying. Um, so Love Radio was not one of my favorites. It's a YA. And um, I don't know. They're in high school, so not that I can't relate to, like, high school things, but I don't know. It felt very rushed and then slowed down. There were some parts in there that I didn't think was necessary. It kind of just felt like filler. And like I said earlier, I love a good ending. And it just wasn't the ending that... I thought it would be or that I wanted yeah I don't know I always feel bad talking bad about books but like I feel like I've gone to a point where I've read a good amount of like a spe specifically romance books that I can kind of like gauge what I like and don't like in books and this was the first one where I was like it's just not 
doing it for me. I don't know. It was just... There were points where I was like, oh, this is so cute. Like, their little dates that they would go on. Um, the one thing that I couldn't relate to was, like, the parents just being so easy and okay with everything going on. It didn't seem very realistic, especially, like, with high school kids. I don't know. It just felt a little off. It felt like they were supposed to be in college, but then I had to remember, like, they're in high school. They would talk about, like, me. we were walking to the lockers. I was like, oh, wait, right, you guys are teenagers they were acting like they were in their like early 20s like it 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 just felt a little off it again there were aspects of it that I really enjoyed and then there were other sides where I was like it's just not I'm not loving it so I was kind of sad about that I did get through the book it was really hard it did take me a while to get through but I did it I got through it but it just wasn't one of my favorite reads of the summer um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. There wasn't much. Um, yeah. On to the next. The book that everyone was waiting for, I was waiting for, literally ordered it the day that it came out, got it delivered to my house. This came out towards the end of my semester, so couldn't read it right away, but I had it at my house waiting for me. And I took it with me to New York. Uh, did I read a lot in New York? No. But I did bring her with me. Five stars. Third five star of the summer. I, I was nervous going into this book because we, as the book community, have hyped this book up so much before it even came out. The little hints Emily was giving us on her story. I don't know. I was, I was nervous because I don't really, I'm still in the middle or trying to figure out if I even want to finish Book Lovers. So I get nervous. Beach Read is still one of my favorite books of all time. But this is, it's getting up there. And Happy Place was actually really good too. So all the books that I've read so far from Emily Henry, I've enjoyed. So I got scared a little bit. And the fact that we're hyping it up and we had all these expectations and she she did the thing. She did it, she did it. I'm literally obsessed with them. This story, the ups and downs, the smacks in the face. Like literally starting this book, I was like, whoa. I felt like we were in the middle of the book. And it was fast paced and I love fast paced books because it gets me through it faster. But holy cow, Emily. Emily, I'm kind of scared now that I'm thinking about it more, it might be like right next to Beach Read. Or even maybe a little bit above it. I don't know, that's so awful for me to say because Beach Read is like, oh, one of my favorite books I've ever read. But for some reason, I don't know, something about this, their banter, their chemistry, the way that they were friends first, I really enjoy that because that's what my mom has always told me for relationship advice when meeting a man or wanting to be in a relationship. Like, you gotta be best friends with them first, and I think that's what anyone wants in a partner. So the fact that we got that in a book, and he's so golden retriever, he's so silly and like, takes her on adventures and is so open for the most part I feel like and she they went through this awful thing together and then they came out of it and I don't know the things that he has done for her really oh uh, uh, and the fact that she works in a little bookstore and like I don't I don't know it felt really perfect and a little cameo that we got in here Love that. Love that. Um, but on to the next. I could talk about I, I I think I need to stop with her. I need to stop because let's talk about this being made into a movie, first of all. Second, the fact that Emily is writing the script, this movie is going to be... This movie is for the book girly. She knew what she was doing when she said... Let me sign off on writing the script. She knew because she knew. Oh, this movie is going to be so good. 
so good. So excited for the casting to see who she casts. I'm gonna trust. I'm gonna trust her because it's in her. It's kind of in her hands right now, and I'm gonna trust her and trust that she knows what she's doing because obviously she does. Because the fact that Happy Place Two is being made into a series. Are you joking? <laughs> like all the books that us romance girlies have been reading are being turned into movies and shows like that's insane like a good girl's guide to murder it's gonna come out august 1st best believe i'm gonna sit there and binge watch it because that book is a five star for me so i'm just so excited for us book girlies to like enjoy all of this like i'm just so so excited um yeah this this is this is her and i Will I listen to it to get a little kick again? Probably, because I did really enjoy it. And I feel like since now I'm kind of into audiobooks, um, as rereads or re-listens or whatever, I will like re-listen to Beach Read or Happy Place and Funny Story when it gets closer to these shows and movies coming out. Like, just so I can get a little refresher, check in on them again, see how it's going. <laughs> but I did really, really enjoy this book. Like, that was... It was so good. Emily Henry, we love you so much. Now, um, last thing I think for this video specifically, because I, I need to figure out what I want to read next and what I'm planning to do for the rest of the summer because we don't have that much time if you think about it. Um, but I did DNF my first book ever to DNF. Uh, it pains me, but I've been reading this book over like the past like seven, eight months. <laughs> so I'm surprised I didn't DNF it sooner, but now that it was... Wait, did I say that right? I don't even know. Anyways, I've been reading this book. It's been a journey. And it's been way too long. But I DNF'd A Thousand Boy Kisses. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I just had too much going on and I just couldn't I don't know I continued to read it I'm on page like 209 I don't think I'm gonna finish it um I know that one is coming out with a movie and I'm really excited to see how that goes um and I will watch it but I don't know it just wasn't for me and I think I took too long or too long of breaks of like not reading it and then all these new releases came out and it kind of just was like kept I kept pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back so I DNF that book my friend read it we were supposed to read it together but I, then I had school starting and it was just I didn't have time she kind of she just told me the ending because I'm gonna watch the movie anyways but she was saying like a lot of the books like this book specifically she's like yeah i think she's like when i was done reading it i was like oh this would be a really good movie so maybe i'll enjoy the movie more than i did the book but i just can't finish it and i've kind of transitioned into a new book phase that i've i've only read romance and murder mystery books i haven't gotten anything into fantasy and that's our next little segment of what i will be doing um reading wise i guess the rest of my time this summer um i started powerless and this is gonna be my first fantasy read and i started listening to the audio book i have two gift cards to barnes noble so maybe i'll go and get some there but so far i'm loving it i think i might be a fantasy girl as soon as they said i'm pulling out the sword and blah 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 i was like whoa like wait wait a minute i think i might like a little fantasy in my life i'm only a few chapters in so we'll see i'm really i really want to go today to go get it so then i can go back and forth from the audio book and reading the book physically like when i'm running on the treadmill or walking on the treadmill in the mornings when i work out or any time where I just need some noise, I could listen to it. And other times, like at night, I feel like at night I want to start reading more to take like a chunk of time out of my, like do my little 
nighttime routine and take a chunk out to read for like 20 minutes or 15 minutes um and so i might do that go back and forth route and it'll be faster a faster way of me finishing the book so then i can read the next one which is <laughs> i don't even know what the next book is but the little novella i'll probably put it up on the screen the little novella that's like only like 189 or 198 pages it's 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 a novella it's a tiny book because then hopefully i could read that like as a physical just strictly read it instead of doing the back and forth just because it is a smaller book and then maybe just listen to the newest one which, which is reckless i'm guessing that just came out so that's kind of what i'm doing right now we'll see how i finish how this me listening and reading at the same time will do um so i kind of want to take a step away from the romance for a minute and try something new i've been wanting to get into fantasy and i always feel like august is the time like kind of around the time that we switch over to like fall and autumn type vibes so i've always wanted to read a fantasy and so i think it'll be really cool to be listening to a fantasy and kind of seeing how it is because then maybe continuing into fall i can listen to fantasy books like when i'm walking around campus or doing something i can at least listen to it and be in like the fantasy fall vibes like i'm really excited about that but i've definitely become an audiobook girly just so i can fill that void in my life during like the semester because like it just is, sucks that i can't read um but yeah that's kind of it that's been like my book journey so far um i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want more of these of like what i've read or even like if i do a review of like all the books that i've read so far i can totally do that too um i just wanted to do like a little recap because i did i feel like i've read and listened to a decent amount of books that i feel like i could do a video like this so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know down below what you thought of if you've read any of the books that i talked about or you're or even just like let me know what you thought of like the books or give me some suggestions on fantasy books um or any other books that you want just give me any suggestions i'll take any of them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time i post a new video and i will see you guys next wednesday bye <music>